Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy Fern Jadu, and I'm back at it again with another video. And so today's video, we're gonna be explaining Cole's mother. Now, before we even start the video, um, I know I haven't been doing these like all about videos lately, and well, I never got a lot of likes on it. But if you like this channel, and if you like the videos that I upload and how much I speak about pretty much theories, news, and whatnot, I suggest you go ahead and. Let's all smash to like at least a good 10 likes and probably 100 views and probably some comments regarding like your question and thoughts. And I'll continue on doing more of these um, theories and um, news and like start speaking in more videos lately. Because I know I haven't spoken to any because apparently I haven't been. You guys seem like I, you guys like it when I don't speak. So I decided to just not do it that way. But however, if you guys want me to speak in more videos, I will do that. I just need 10 likes, 10 to 12 likes, and also, um, practically more views. And so, yeah, let's, aside from that, let's get on to the video. So, Cole's mother was named Lily. Lily is the name of something rebirth or, or given the name like pure, purity and kindness, stuff, things of that nature, pretty much. That's pretty much her name. So, Lily was the former elemental master of Earth. She ended up getting her powers after her grandfather died and i believe her grandfather well not her grandfather her father cole's grandfather pretty much cole's grandfather had died probably in the serpentine war which kind of gave her the elemental abilities which is kind of weird because it, it doesn't some of the stories from this aspect where i'm getting this news from which was from a um a comic book now, the comic book, it been released. I thought probably I could just break it down to you guys bit by bit. So, you guys perfectly understand how Lily, the full story of Lily. So, let's begin, shall we? She was trained under Master Wu. Master Wu was calling her one of her one of his most promising students. When she unlocked her true potential, she was actually unstoppable. Pretty much the same way how Cole unlocked his true potential. Um... Probably just more powerful, I guess, in the wrong... I don't know. Her powers were the powers of Earth. So, pretty much she could do pretty much the things that Cole can do. Like, spin jitsu. She probably... I don't know if she did air jitsu or not. I doubt they did air jitsu, but I think they did spin jitsu. That's, she did spin jitsu, yeah. Continuing on, um, I can't even tell if she fought in the Serpentine War because... Cole's grandfather fought in the Serpentine War. They both can't be fighting in the same war. Otherwise, its story doesn't make any sense. I mean, like, let's just, I'll just explain more that doesn't make sense later on. Let's continue on. Um, she fought against, she was like Master Wu's eyes and ears. Um, in the long run, she ended up finding out, she went to the um, underworld and found out that the skeletons had kidnapped Dr. Julian. So she went to report it to Master Wu. Now, the weird thing is that if she knew, like, if Wu knew what happened to Zane's parents, why didn't he say anything? Like, why didn't he, why didn't he say anything to Zane? Honestly, this story is practically uncanny. Uh, I don't, I don't know. This is, it kind of hurt me as soon as I just understood it. But overall, um, yeah, let's just continue on, shall we? She, um... Fought against the Serpentine and other evil. She also wielded the Blades of Deliverance. Pretty much the Blade of Deliverance has a symbol of light and dark. I had explained this in a theory later on. Late, like, no, I explained this in a theory for season 13. If you want to go and check that out, you can. For it's in the channel, has not gone anywhere. You can go ahead and check it out. Just scroll down. I can't put the link for some reason. But, however, if you scroll down, you'll see the, um, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, continuing forth, um, she um, puts pretty much Master Wu's eyes and ears. Pretty much any news that happened in Ninjago or Agar Garbodon's whereabouts, she was the one to know and reported to Wu. Which kind of explains why Wu found out that Samokai was taking orders from Garbodon. How Wu found that out. In any case, um, her... Game, who one of her greatest missions was yet was battling against Griefbringer in the Shintaro Mountain. Pretty much, um, there were two tribes, the Geckles and the Munkas. I, I don't know how to explain them. Um, she fought today, um, asked her to fight against this evil dragon called Griefbringer. 
Um, she fought against Griefbringer and saved the tribes of Shintaro. She gave them both two different swords. Well, she gave them both the um the blade of deliverance to show that they should have faith, like faith, like you know, to power, like pretty much to give them faith, a symbol, for not for whatnot. So um. After that, um, she left the mountain Shintaro and then went back to Wu. She didn't have the swords anymore. Um, afterwards, later on, she ended up giving birth to Cole, and Cole became the next elemental master of Earth. Um, she ended up dying by an unknown illness, which my reminds me that that theory probably could be Stan. Well, she probably must have died by a respiratory illness since. She was coughing and all. Since I saw her coughing and stuff, she probably must have died by a respiratory illness. Okay, that's pretty much all I gotta explain. Pretty much, in my theory, I like her character and all. It's just that, well, I don't know. They need to change the story a bit. Probably, I don't know if they can explain it or not. Or probably, this is uncanny and all, because Cole, because Wu, like, doesn't... Some of the story in that didn't really make sense or all at all. It didn't make any sense. But, however, this is pretty much all I could find for um, Lily. For she was a great ninja warrior who fought against um, any evil that came her way. She was one of Wu's promising students. She wielded the blades of deliverance just like Cole did. And she was the first elemental master of Earth who unlocked a special power called the Spinjitsu Burst. Which Cole ended up picking up. And so, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hopefully, you guys learned a lot from me talking about um, Lily, which was Cole's mother, who died by unknown illness and all. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please come like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.